Hello everyone, and welcome to the 10,000 subscriber special of Let's Play Thief 2 The Metal Age with Frozen Foxy. I would first like to uh, thank Finn Phoenix for um, his assistance and wonderful video in uh, telling me exactly how to record menus and all that kind of stuff, videos along with the Thief game, because that makes it amazingly easy to record this game compared to the way I ended up having to do um, the original Thief game. So this should go a lot smoother this time around. On top of that, um, he gives some tips in his video on how to uh, make the videos look a little bit brighter on YouTube for you guys. So that will be awesome as well because you guys will be able to see as well as I could see in the game if I were to uh, raise up the gamma and I think that is really cool. So we'll definitely be doing that. This right here is not the Steam version of uh, Thief 2 The Metal Age. This is actually the CD version. I'm using my old copies because with the Thief 2 version on Steam, you cannot record the menus and there is no way to make it work. I have tried a lot of things. It just does not work. Um, Basically, with the original version, all you had to do was apply the Taffer Patcher um, because it's going to apply the DD fix so that you can actually record menus and stuff. However, the Steam version and apparently the GOG version as well come with a specific version of DD fix and you can't really upgrade it very well. And so, um, it doesn't work. You can't record the menus at all. So just something to think about if you want to record this, but don't hesitate to buy the game from either um, GOG or Steam because you can still play it through them. You just won't be able to record it quite as well as you will if you actually have the discs on hand. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, start ourselves a new game on Expert here. I've already set up the controls the way I like them. I'm sure everyone else has different control schemes that they like, but me, I've got mine and you don't have to know about it. So let's start the game up. I've always equated feelings with getting caught. They both get in the way of my money. Unfortunately, not everyone is as committed to their work as I am. An old associate of mine, Basso the Boxman, wants to marry Lady Rumford's chambermaid, Genevieve, and live happily ever after. Guess prison life spoiled his taste for thievery. Too bad for Basso that Lady Rumford has other plans. Marriage would void Genevieve's indentured service contract, so Rumford is keeping her confined in the estate with the rest of her worldly possessions. Basso has asked for my assistance on getting her out. Since infiltration is my specialty, I make it a policy never to take a job so sentimental, but the Rumford Manor could be a lucrative opportunity for a man like me. It would also mean that Basso would owe me a favor, and in this line of work, you can never have too many of those. I'll sneak in after dark and clear a path for Basso so he can rescue his damsel in distress. Along the way, I'll pick up a few souvenirs for the local pawn shops. That should make all this aggravation worthwhile. Otherwise, I'll make Basso wish he was still rotting in Crag's cleft. This proves it. Going legit is more trouble than it's worth. I find this kind of interesting because I more or less recall from the original Thief game that Garrett was doing one of his missions because he was in love with his sister of whoever he was doing the mission for. So now he's come full circle to the point where he's like, now women are just trouble. 
I enjoy that. Anyways, the uh, first mission that we're going to be doing here is running interference. Obviously, we're going to be playing on expert as usual. Uh, our first objective is uh, once you're ready for Basso to go, give the signal using the bird call he gave you. You have to be close enough for him to hear it. Two, help Basso and Genevieve get out of the mansion together. You'll need to scout ahead and make sure Basso's route is safe. Three, luckily Basso didn't say anything about not taking Lady Rumford's stuff. Get 600 in loot, including 200 in gems. Four, Genevieve would be aghast if anybody died because of this. Don't kill anyone. And five, still nothing stops you from teaching these guards a lesson and getting in a little practice. Score at least eight knockouts. Technically, we would need to do the knockouts anyway to ensure that uh, everything is clear for uh, our friend Basso to get through, so it's not going to matter one way or another. I hey, Basso. I the side door for you, Garrett. It's the only good way in. All right, sounds good to me. So, um, in this second game, we've actually got a, uh, a mechanical eye, since we lost our eye in the very first game. This mechanical eye was, uh, from the backstory, given to us by a Hammerite. Um, so now we have the capability to zoom in on things, which is uh, pretty cool. So I can kind of see these guards all the way over here. Interestingly enough, right now there's not a guard that's patrolling around this yard, but later on in the mission there will be a guard that patrols through this yard, and um, if you can uh, just ever so slightly tell, there's a cup right in the middle of this place, which happens to be loot, and uh, at some point I would really like to get that loot and it's going to be really difficult considering that this is a very bright area here and right now we've got a bird call and a compass and nothing else so um, we'll see how that works out I don't know we've also got uh, of course our trusty sword once again it is not Constantine's sword we've got uh, Mr. Jack he is making a reappearance we we all love Mr. Jack I know I do We've also got uh, some nice water arrows here, and I believe that is it for what we've got uh, on us at the moment. So we are pretty dry for tools and utilities right now. I always like to uh, go over here for the hell of it. As far as I know, there is nada over here, but um, I always go over here anyway. I don't know why. It's silly of me. I just like looking around, I guess. It's kind of a thief mentality, you know? You want to check out every little nook and cranny throughout the entire area. Because you never know what's hiding under the next bush. Could be a key. Could be a gem. Alright, well, let's go in the way that uh, Basso told us to go into. And see what we can find over here awfully bright over here though if there was anyone walking over in this direction we would be totally screwed right now lucky for us it's rather empty in here right now or at least it seems that way just shut that for the moment good mm. thing the butler's out for the night he left his lights on he also left his money on the table I will definitely take that too bad he didn't leave more money on the table. I could totally use tons and tons of gold. Alright. Definitely hear someone walking around over here. Got a locked door there and there, and a nice little key on this shelf here. The first time I played this game a long time ago, I could not find that key for the life of me for at least 30 or so minutes. And I felt really silly when I finally did notice it sitting on the little ledge there. Especially since I should have uh, been able to see that. I like potatoes. Potatoes are kind of good. What do we got going in here? 
Nothing? Alright. This will be an easy place to rob if there's not going to be anyone in any of these rooms. Of course, it's going to be very difficult to find um, any of them to knock out since I have to knock out eight people if there's no one around. I will eat this cheese though. I am the mouse that steals everything from you. <laughs> okay. I, I steal all your food, and I nibble on it, and, and then I steal your gold. I'm s sort of better than a mouse. I take a little more. So. Bet the Baron gets to eat cows all the time. Is that all you're going to say? Potato, potato, potato. Uh-huh. All right, well, this looks awful bright over here. And that looks like a window, if you ask me. Rocks are nice. Old blue rocks are the best. Old better than brown rocks. They're definitely gray rocks. Don't see many blue rocks around. And there's definitely a couple guards there, so let's take care of that. Oh, damn torches. Always sputtering out. Well, don't just make tap over it. Light it up. I lost my tinder box. Oh, why don't you do it? I ain't the one that's complaining, am I now? Huh. So one of the interesting things um, about this game is there's actually relightable torches. Not those ones, but um, soon enough we'll find something that is relightable and I'll talk a little more on that. It can actually be quite a pain in the ass considering that you can have areas that you've darkened suddenly lit up all over again. And we really don't want that to happen. It's better to steal in the dark than it is to steal in the light. Of course, you probably are a lot more epic if you manage to steal in the light. I'm not quite that epic. I'm I'm the semi master thief. Well, they cannot see me in the dark, so work our way in here. Let's see. Oh, there's a guard back there. Is he looking this way? He is certainly not looking this way. If we can manage to get up on him... No, I don't want to kill him. If we can manage to get up on him silently enough, then we should be able to take him out. Hi there! <gasps> you seem to have fallen asleep on the job, sir. Here, let me help you find a bed somewhere. Like, um, in a shadow. Anywhere that's nice and dark. And not back there. Here, this looks like a good bed. Real cow. Hope they save some. Ugh, I need a nap. I won't be so spooked then. Not potato, potato, potato. Hmm. Shall I risk it? I think I will. I need those eights. Let's see what we can do here. A little closer. And with any luck. <laughs> oh. uh, that got a little close there. His head did not want to come to Mr. Jack's face. But we're all good to go now. Ah, a lovely deck of cards. Here. I'm sure you want to play those. It will uh, take over the time while you're asleep. This would be one of the uh, relightable torches. It's uh, kind of a gas lamp sort of thing. So you can you can kind of hear the gas hissing. Yeah? So anyway, um, these ones throughout uh, various missions will be relightable and will cause some serious issues if someone is around to relight them over and over again. Hello? Anyone home in this workshop-ish area? I think I'm all alone here. Good with me. Ah, some actual gear. Flash bomb and flares. Flares are uh, something that's new to the uh, Thief 2 area, the universe, 
if you will, of Thief, um, these actually will light up an area rather than um, darken it, which can be a bad thing in some cases, but when it's really dark, those flares may very well come in handy. Also, that looks like a lever. Aha! Why, hello there. I will certainly take all this stuff. A nice little healing potion. Hopefully we will not need to use that healing potion at all. I really am not fond of getting hurt by guards or anything else. Like a fall, a fall would not be good. Something I really adore about um, this newer Thief game here is that there's a lot of different potions in it. And um, we won't really see those very much in this first level, but um, as we move throughout the game you're going to see a lot more potions that are very different from um, the original Thief game. And in fact, very different from the uh, third Thief game as well. I think out of all the Thief games this is probably the best. However, it has a severe lack of zombies, which is kind of disappointing, considering the uh, first Thief game had lots and lots of zombies. I really like those zombies. I don't know why I'm such a fan of zombies. Hmm. Looks clear enough. And we got someone walking over there. Hmm. All right. Let's see here. And we got a garden there too. Let's see. That sounds like Benny. I believe we have found Benny. Awesome. Well, for now we do not have a safe method of going through there. So let's try something else. Hmm. All the way over there, eh? That is definitely out of reach for me. Hmm. Perhaps I can get close enough. Uh-oh. Mm. Help! Help! No. Luckily, with uh, these guys, they can be knocked out even after they see you. But we missed out on a uh, pickpocket opportunity there, which is so sad. Leave that there. Anything behind all these nice crates? No. Too bad. I am certain I will miss something in this area. 